Hi you guys, welcome back to the channel. It's your girl Colors and I'm back with another video and today's video is going to be all about my 12th week of pregnancy. So if you want to know how me and this little baby bump is doing during this week, just keep on watching. Hi you guys, if you are new to my channel, my name is Colors and I am a current mom of going to be soon too. Uh, I have a six month old and I am three months pregnant obviously. So I'm definitely going to be in a situation of two under two. I do want to make a statement on how you can expect these bump date videos. I do really intend on doing them on Fridays since Saturday is when I actually turn a new week. So obviously I'm a little bit late on this thing. Um, I am kind of inconsistent on days that I'm going to be doing certain things or putting out video and how often how frequent but I do want to make sure that the bump dates still try to come out on Friday so you can be looking out for that now we can go ahead and start talking about this baby bump one thing I really wanted to do in this series of bump dates is that I want to do a then versus now since it is very close in pregnancy from when I birthed Nala and when I'm gonna birth this baby I feel like it would be kind of cool to see the differences so I did go and research um, my 12th week video bump date and how I was feeling so I'm just gonna go ahead and compare those two now so in looking back a lot of things seem very similar. I honestly didn't say a lot about my 12th week in the video, but one of the things that stood out to me was I am still currently finding food every single day, meaning that I have a new craving every day. I do have the consistent ones that you see back here, and we'll talk about those in a minute. But I feel like when it comes to food itself, I cannot figure out for the life of me what I want like today I want Chinese food tomorrow I want Taco Bell then the next day I want McDonald's and then it's just like each day no matter what I have it's like <sighs> but one thing that has been consistent is that uh, I am in love I think it's right here with broccoli broccoli is another one of my huge cravings it wasn't a craving then I didn't really name any cravings I just said that I have a new craving every single day and that is still standing true to the 12th week. I still want something new every single day. Um, but right now I can always count on broccoli and my sweet Arizona watermelon. <laughs> um, this is something I definitely wouldn't have been into with Nala because I really want nothing sweet. And this is not even super sweet, but this is what's kind of getting me through this in broccoli when I just can't find nothing to eat but the, that still stands true as well as I made it a big deal to say sex is not a thing and baby it's still not a thing it's like where did it go it's like he planted the seed dropped it off and left it because there is no loving going on around here like I can I don't even remember when I gave it up, oh shit. He gonna divorce my ass if I keep going at this rate. Oh, I just can't do it. I just, I'm a blimp. And I don't want nothing to do with his body on my body because that's just a lot. That's just a whole lot, a whole lot of sweat and energy and, and bodies and closeness. And I'm already feeling a little bit claustrophobic. So we're not doing good. I'm a whole wife. And I need to be giving my man some attention. But listen, no one told him to drop it off so quickly. Hopefully soon before the doctor actually cuts us off. Because if you don't know, you didn't follow us on the last journey. Because of my high risk, weak cervix, not weak cervix, incompetent cervix. We were kind of banned from having sex during the entire pregnancy up until about six weeks postpartum part and that's when we was finally cleared so we are on this journey again i was only free for like two months you know what i'm saying now i am very close to the time of my poom poom being on lockdown so i better learn how to have a husband child and give him some so that's really the only thing 
that was going on really between then and now it sounds like i had a lot more energy and that still stands true to now i do i did have a lot of energy so it seems like what i was experiencing more in my earlier week with having like insomnia and staying up really late is kind of creeping in through this week uh, i have a big problem in either staying up late or waking up extremely early i had a couple of nights this week that i would wake up at three o'clock in the morning and then just cannot sleep so i would just end up surfing on my phone and i think i was experiencing this around the five or six weeks um with baby nala but this week and later in the game i'm experiencing it now um, I'm not really mad at it because I do feel kind of rested, but um, I just can't seem to get a complete eight hours of sleep and rest. I think I talked about this, but I am not having as much morning sickness. I do have waves of feeling bad, but this week I'm definitely picking up on my energy. I definitely can do a lot more this week. I'm kind of surprised how well thus far I've been doing compared to how early I started to go downhill with Nala. This one I've been pretty consistent even though I have on and off experience bad really bad uh morning sickness but that has been pretty much the worst of it <laughs> in my notes for some reason i wrote actually this is the week that my butt decided to dismiss itself so when you are pregnant your body changes obviously and different areas change more than others and i noticed a lot earlier i think but my butt is starting to flatten i am becoming a board um i am becoming a little bit shapeless and it is a little bit of a problem with a little bit of a problem for me but not as much as it was before because now i kind of know what this expect. i'm just glad that i'm married <laughs> that's all i can say this week i also not having any more sore boobs that has gone away even though i can honestly tell that i still got milk in my boobs and i think i am going to try to pump i keep saying that i am but it's something in me that does not want to pull out my pump system and put them on my nipple i just really don't like my nipples touch but i'm gonna end up doing it because we need to make sure this is still good the biggest thing that happened this week is that i had my 12 week checkup so this is actually my i believe second doctor's appointment yes and actually i got an ultrasound picture of baby and i was actually really surprised how much the baby has grown like it was dancing it was floating it was moving uh him or her do got um all hands and feet and toes and all that type stuff well i don't know how many toes but it looked like it was going in the right direction everything looked pretty normal i do have some pictures so let me go ahead and show you that now do y'all see it looks like a real real baby now and this is kind of like a zoomed out view do i need to zoom that in and that's just kind of like the whole out view so yeah clearly baby has gotten extremely big and it was just kind of like moving a lot and i'm kind of like oh it's already moving a lot you're only 12 weeks like calm it down but i was so happy that everything was fine the heartbeat was 156 i did get blood draw i really don't know what that was for though i feel like every time i get an appointment my blood is drawn i feel like i've been to the doctor so many times i can't even tell what is what anymore <laughs> but also i did see a different doctor this time i did meet him before when i was pregnant with nala he just didn't really talk about nothing he just wanted to know how i felt and how i was feeling about life and i was just kind of like it's the best it can be at this point and then he was like all right 
and then he just let me know that I'm gonna have another um, ultrasound. This ultrasound was only um, on the top of my stomach, but the next time it's gonna be a cervical ultrasound. It wasn't supposed to be a cervical ultrasound on my next appointment, but I was really, really concerned how no one was kind of addressing the previous issues I was having with Nala. I'm, I was kind of surprised that no one kind of um, made it a bigger deal to start taking progesterone or, you know, do like, the, it wasn't a lot of precautionary as I assumed that it was going to be. So I actually kind of had to remind him like, hey, why isn't this next appointment at my 16 week is not a cervical one because I previously had a weak cervix and I was told that I was going to be watched closely, especially around 16 weeks that I had a weak cervix and that's kind of when everything went into power drive. Um, he was kind of like, oh, let me re-look at your notes. And I was kind of like, okay, you didn't look at your notes before you got here. But I made him aware of it and he was just kind of like, okay, well, I didn't really catch this part. Let's go ahead and schedule you a cervical check. And I was just like, okay, that is that. That was my 12 week checkup. The only other things that I kind of got on here that we can speak about is that I did have off and on cramping. I noticed the cramping that I had was mostly when I started to get towards the end of my shift of working. And I feel like my body was just like giving out on me. And I feel like that's getting closer to closer to like every other day problem where I get towards the end of the day and my back gets really sore or I start to like my pelvic area starts to ache and those type things and I'm hoping that doesn't become a big issue because um, the doctor did say if that continued to, then to let him know so that he can minimize my hours of standing yeah but anyway I think that's pretty much it um, outside of that uh, baby is the size of a plum hopefully you can see this told myself that I was going to use this more this time around, honey, because um, I kind of underutilized it last time. So, yeah, baby is the size of a plum. We did cross off that the highlights was the ultrasound in the 12 week checkup. I am definitely feeling better this week, although it's not 100%, but definitely better is progress. And we talked about the food, and this is my first trimester. But that being said, I'm going to go ahead and start reading from my app that talks about baby, and the app that I use is Pregnancy Plus. I do notice that there's quite a difference in update in Pregnancy Plus app than it was before. I think I like the organization of it before more than I do now so going to week 12 it says that your baby's liver and spleen are now producing blood cells the pancreas is beginning to release digestive enzymes um, your baby liver accounts for 10% of the body weight muscular system and the nervous system are responding to each other and your baby is now able to bend stretch kick and make faces already the sex of your baby is becoming more pronounced and the kidneys are now producing urine from the ambiotic fluid that he or she ingests because your baby won't be using the lungs to breathe until birth all the oxygen needed is coming from the placenta so that is all for the information of 12 week of baby um at this point is usually when i'll be showing my baby size but because i am so far more into my 13th week i don't think it's probably the best idea to just show you this week but i did show in my last bump date which was the 9 through 11 my 12 week belly so if you really want to see what my 12 week belly looks like you can go to that video i keep doing this like the video is just gonna come right here it's not coming right there but yeah um you can go ahead and go to that video and you will see what my belly bump is looking like but yeah i think that's gonna be all for this video i really do appreciate you guys for coming and following me on this journey yet again this is something crazy unexpected but welcome in so 
I am so excited for that. But yeah, that's gonna be all for this video. I do appreciate you guys. Love you guys. Thank you guys for watching. Please make sure you like and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next one.